Hey, welcome to SC Custom Designs. It's Sunday afternoon. Uh, I had a great time in church today, worshiping the Lord. I am a worship leader at my church, and I've been doing that ever since I am uh, 15 years of age uh, in Israel. That's where I learned how to do these types of things. So, play the keyboard and the guitar, and I play by ear. So, um, didn't think that was going to come out, but there you go. Okay. Welcome to SC Custom Designs. Uh, I have a rather unusual off the topic subject for you. And that is involving this unit here and that dangling unit up there, which is connected to this unit here. All right. So when you're in the wood shop, I highly, highly recommend that you uh, have things playing so you can constantly learn about something you know whether it's even if it's just music whatever um, so hopefully you're playing our videos we have about 475 or so uh, YouTube videos and uh, as I say in my my videos if you see a tool um, or something in my wood shop more than likely I did a, an episode on that tool or a review or something like this and and what as is the case more often than not um, tools that I have I bought brand new or they were given to me so I had a huge learning curve I, I didn't grow up with a bandsaw uh, as a matter of fact the first bandsaw I purchased was uh, that little Rikon over there he's sitting over there feeling all kinds of lonely uh, when I went to Israel in 78 um, we were allowed to use saws like this, and uh, I have a hickory uh, wood hammer back there, right, and chisels. That's what we work with. Uh, a bigger handsaw like this, you know, that's what we had. And you can make a lot of things with the simple tools, and that's just the way that was. We even had them, uh, the marking gauge, not a, what is this here? Raybone. Um, also, I have an old antique one back here. It's pretty cool. Huh, we actually use these too for drilling. Stick a bit in there and away you go. So, at any rate, we're going to get back to the unusual topic. I never thought I'd be doing this as a hot topic in my wood shop, but there you go. So, uh, my neighbor uh, was moving and he had this TV. This is a Vizio TV, but it's not internet ready. And so I'm thinking, oh, how can I get this guy to show my channels? So we have Steve Larkin, got 5.1K views on this video, how to change a blade on the 14 inch bandsaw. And um, also we can see over here, uh, the Wood Whisperer has his uh, video showing here, the best way to set up a bandsaw. So there you go. Um, and I like to watch uh, Norm Abrams, uh, good old Norm, is now retired, and boy, what a legacy he, he has. So, don't want to talk about him like he's dead, he's alive, that I know of. So, at any rate, we can learn a lot from these guys. Yeah, when I would go to his, uh, the PBS, public broadcasting system, we'd have to, I'd have to wake up in time on Saturday morning, and um, he'd... Be working on all kinds of tools that I did not have. For example, that jet uh, jointer. I didn't have any jointers back then. I didn't have a drill press. Um, I certainly didn't have a Lee D4 Pro back in the 90s and in the 80s and 70s. So, um, don't know if Lee, what they had back then actually. It's a Canadian outfit. So, at any rate, yeah, you go around the wood shop, you're like, man, I don't. Don't have all that stuff. And then I'll watch videos. I'm like, wow, there's some things I wish I had. Just be patient. Be patient and um, it's going to happen for you. All right. You're going to you're gonna come up with these tools and, and it'll be that. So anyways, back to this. How in the world did I get this normal TV? This is just your normal TV with uh, these types of connections. Uh, none of which was helping me. So... I managed to do it, my friends, and I'll try to walk through it a little bit. We have an HDMI cable coming out the side, which is going into my uh, old Roku. I brought it back out of the box. 
an old Roku because I got a newer one this guy was having buffering issues uh, between all the folks watching and going through it it was just seemed to lock up more than it would play so I put it in a box and put it away and you know it has its remote which is sitting right here and from there well if you look close there's no wires connected to it it's basically the power button right power button and the HDMI so that's where this guy comes in we can actually disconnect him I thought surely this TV is going to be able to take a, a cable a cat 5 nope it didn't so that wasn't helping me show my friend um, so we are actually connecting wirelessly let's not unplug that this is a Netgear he was also in retirement so I got him actually as a booster so that I could take a signal well in this case the signal is right up in there through that through the floor in my living room okay and it goes all the way to the third floor so now he just has to give me a signal down here and now I'm wirelessly connected all right so if you haven't thought about that if you've got an old TV it seems that's that's the way to go in this case again my my neighbor was moving and uh, I got this for 35 bucks and now I can watch me <laughs> watching me watching me and watching you guys uh, your channels I like to to uh, look for uh, projects some things that are going on in, in SC custom designs if you follow the latest videos um, I had to take down my ancient trim and clean it up best I could with soap and water I actually cleaned it up kind of nice um, and now what I have to do uh, is go to the next level and actually start sanding and you can see there's lots of really nifty little grooves in there where I can't actually get into uh, comfortably and what we're going to use I hope I can get to it quick enough there is um, I try to leave the packages out oh here it is my friends I got this from Rockler you can see a lot of Rockler products trying to get sponsored by them sooner or later um, that'll happen I just got to get my subscription level up but these are angle contour sandy grips and pad okay clearly this is the answer my friends these uh, shapes are going to help you to get into let's see I'll make sure I get some light on the subject uh, help you to get into those corners okay so I'm going to go ahead and grab those guys out of the the sanding apartment which is behind that drill press you can see I'm a little pressed for space now I got really blessed with four big tools the jointer this nice upgrade for me anyways this 12 inch delta uh, drill press wow I also had this husky uh, 17 700 lumen each uh, really amazing we're doing illuminating an area and I got this guy here and this guy back there so I'm really kind of cramped I can't just walk around my shop anymore um, that's a good problem I would say sorry right, so we're gonna be sanding that so keep following me on that progress this is trim that's about a hundred and some years old uh, from my what we call the Victoria secret room <laughs> so um at any rate so that's going on we also have the the pegboard um going on oops i wanted to show you this we'll show you that just in a bit so we have the we have a new pegboard uh hardware that we got and i have it all laid out here this is for hanging shells and various types of things this guy actually came broken so I'm supposed to have one of those whoops um and so I needed just a little bit more space and I got some, some extra units like this and I'm going to be doing a reorg uh, as you know you you know you get used to working the way you work and then you figure out man I just need to pull the tools together and categorize them and if, if I'm not using them then you know they're just being looked at this this here's the showpiece where I have some of the older tools um, displaying here and a quite a new one there that's a nice marking gauge there very very nice marking gauge we're doing dovetails 
and marking your wood, stuff like this. So, yeah, there you go. All right, hopefully you're not getting dizzy. So back to the whole point of the video, which is, I may now sit here, press a button. Welcome to Sister Coastal Designs. We're doing a segment on changing uh, your bandsaw blade. And uh, I have a lot of respect for Mr. Snowgrass that can do this. So there you go. I can now watch uh, uh, videos and shows on woodworking. And then once again, you know, I would encourage you to go ahead and look up our videos. These days I'm doing more talking and just uh, got little light projects going on, but some not so light doing, I think doing a lot of uh, repairs in my home to get it ready for resale and uh, just to make it uh, nicer to live in, so on and so forth. And we got these projects. So you know, you can just go back into my queue and you can see these will be the newer ones, the newer ones. I put up a ceiling and got some LED lights, got rid of the older lights and all those types of things. So yeah, that's it. I'm really, really enjoying the wood shop. Um, hopefully we'll get back. I gotta make the Christmas presents for the, for the, for the kids and um, and so there you go. I got to get back. And then before you know it, you're going to have your shows. I'm trying to move slow here. Sorry, for guys on the big TVs. Uh, 2018, we did two shows. Uh, one in the Maybe House, Rotterdam Junction, New York. Look that up. It's a historic society. We used to live there. My wood shop used to be right there. In there. This was the original house. Then they added on this here. They call it Summer House, whatever. Very nice. And then this is what they call the slave quarters. And they actually had a tunnel, it's been said, that went out to Mohawk River. So the Mohawk River. All right, then we did a show here at the Carrot Festival. Um, so that was done in, in October of 2018. August was the Maybe Farm. And our very first show was, uh, look at our nifty little tent. My wife does a wonderful job setting up that stuff. We actually did the, the uh, Mowers Flea Market. Uh, the Mowers Flea Market, very famous. Look that up. It's in Woodstock, New York. All right. And I'm, look, I'm looking behind here. We've got things we've made that uh, still aren't even finished. This is a huge tr uh, table that you would put on an ottoman or a tray. I had a customer that wanted one, and I made them one. And uh, I thought, eh, might as well make a few more. And I got, got another one back down in there. You can see these units. I'm sure you've seen these. Um, these are utility units. We have, um, I could make up to three or four, I forget how many, four leaning ladder shelves. So all the, the carcasses are there. They're ready to go, the, the, the trays. Um, these here, so guess what they are? Well, these are um, keyboard trays that go for the computer. So what I'll do here is I'll put finish those up. I actually made one for work. Look up that episode. Um, under the table keyboard unit. Eh, so we got things just lying around. Sometimes they sit for a while. I'm trying to get around a corner here to show you something really nifty. Look at this guy. I made him with the lead D4. Um, this is a chest. And he's got the finger joints going on. They said it was a stroke of luck that uh, Lee D4 Pro Dovetail Jake could do fingers as well. They just made a little adjustment. But it's really made to give you the the dovetails. Configure those dovetails. So, yeah, we got things lying around. I've got to get to projects like this. I bought all the things that we need. Uh, the jig to set the blades uh, in here. Try to do that. They're spring loaded so the blades are constantly pushing up. So I bought this this jig uh, so I've got to do that and uh, it's kind of hard not to be in the wood shop uh, working on uh, with with wood products so at any rate there you go thanks for coming to the shop uh, again an unusual just as a reminder this was all about hooking up some random TV um, in this case it's wireless being made possible by this Roku and you know I'm not telling you guys anything new but you know all you have to do is once you get it hooked up I had to do an update on the Roku and uh, 
then I was able to cast. Before there was no casting with when this first came out, this this version of the Roku. Anyways, there was no casting going on. Um, so I was wondering why that wasn't happening. Like, oh, let's just do an upgrade. As soon as I did that, we were good, my friends. All right. Thanks again for coming to my shop. Have a nice rest of your weekend. And uh, stay safe out there in the shop. Take care. Shalom Goodbye to everybody. Friends in Israel. Friends from all around the world. Take care.